What's going on there, everyone? Now, here's a, a pretty interesting little turn of events that truly makes me happy. Exclusive. This is from Fox News, may I add. Trump shares plans to combat homelessness and mental illness in interview with Tucker Carlson. Now, this is fantastic. And leave it to a Republican, a conservative, even though... He's not really a conservative. He's a 1980s business Democrat, but I guess uh, old Democrats are new conservatives, it seems like, because the Democratic Party's gone so far to the far left. President Trump sat down with Fox News host Tucker Carlson for an exclusive interview during his visit to Japan for the G20 summit and shared his plans to combat rising homelessness and mental illness in America, mainly the left coast. During an interview, Trump told Carlson he is looking at it very seriously and said some people forced to live on the streets are living in hell. It's disgraceful. I'm going to maybe, yeah, yeah, that's how he said it. I'm going to maybe, <laughs> and I'm looking at it very seriously, Trump said. We're doing some other things that you probably noticed, like some very important things that we're doing now, but we're looking at it very seriously because you can't do that. You can't have what's happening, where police officers are getting sick just by walking the beat. I mean, they're getting actually very sick, where people are getting sick, where the people living there, living in hell too. It's very true. You can't even walk down the streets in places like, uh, what is it, uh, like San Diego, Sacramento's real bad. Pretty much everywhere there's a big city in California has turned almost third worldish. Trump continued saying most people suffer from homelessness, have accompanying mental illness, and sometimes don't realize they're living in their own filth. He also said the issue needs to be addressed before it starts affecting healthy working people as well. Some of them have mental problems where they don't even know they're living that way, he said. In fact, perhaps they like living that way. They can't do that. We cannot ruin our cities. And you have people that work in those cities. They work in office buildings. And to get into the building, they have to walk through a scene that nobody would have believed possible three years ago. Which is very true. I mean, the images coming out of there are, are very startling, to say the least. Trump blamed the liberal politicians for exacerbating the problem and said he's been fighting them on all fronts, including within city limits of Washington, D.C. And this is the liberal establishment. This is what I'm fighting, he added. They, I don't know if they're afraid of votes. I don't know if they really believe that this should be taking place. But it's a terrible thing that's taken place. And we, maybe, you know, I had a situation when I first became president. We had certain areas of Washington, D.C. where that was starting to happen, and I ended it very quickly. I don't know... I don't know the facts behind that, so I'm not going to speak on that so much. And as you can see, pictures of homeless tents. But they, there's a lot more images they could have used that really convey the, the seriousness of this issue. I mean, there are diseases coming back like the bubonic plague. Stuff that hasn't been seen in, since medieval times is actually starting to come back because of the disgusting nature of these places. Ugh. They can have that. I like the East Coast. We're much cleaner. We have leaders of the world coming to see the President of the United States, and they're riding down the highway. They can't be looking at that. I really believe it hurts our country, which it does. It made, it's very, very bad optics for foreigners. They can't be looking. <laughs> I love the way he talks. They can't be looking at scenes like you see in Los Angeles and San Francisco. San Francisco. So we're looking at it very seriously. We may intercede. We may do something to get that whole thing cleaned up. It's inappropriate. 
yes, very much so. It is inappropriate. We are one of the most prosperous, prosperous, amazing nations in all of humanity. Not just the world, but in all times, we are one of the best countries ever. If you don't, if if you don't believe me, travel, leave the country, and you'll understand what I'm talking about. I, I have traveled extensively, and I can tell you, America is one of the best countries on the planet by far. Trump also said it shouldn't fall on the federal government to address the issue, but didn't give any indication that it would deter his administration from getting involved. <coughs> Excuse me. We're really not very equipped as a government to be doing that, uh, that kind of work, he told Carlson. That's not really the kind of work the government probably, federal government, probably should be doing. We've never had this in our lives before in our country, and it's not only those few cities, it's a couple of other ones, which is true. I mean, it's the left coast. Portland is, is a crap hole, a lawless crap hole, as we can see from the recent Antifa attack on Andy No. The president's comments came after figures released last month stated the number of homeless people in Los Angeles County jumped 12% over the past year. Officials announced Tuesday, despite six, $619 million in government spending to help alleviate the problem. Liberals don't know how to deal with money. They just throw it away. Look at the 2020 Democratic nominees. They literally want to piss all of our American taxpayer dollars on giving health care to illegals and whatnot, you know, so they don't know how to deal with financial issues. Another uh, point right there is Gavin Newsom, one of my most despised figures in California. Uh, they were trying to build a high speed rail. They've wasted six billion dollars and admitted that they'll probably never be able to build this high speed rail. Good job. Good job. And yes, taxpayers, that was our expense too. Thanks a lot, Left Coast. The annual point in time count recorded nearly 59,000 homeless people countrywide. That's sad. With the largest number, 36,000, coming from the city of Los Angeles. The Los Angeles Homeless Services Authority, a county agency which conducted the count, delivered its report to the Board of Supervisors as, or at its Tuesday meeting. In 2018, Tally found a slight decrease in the homeless population at just over 53,000 people. Supervisor, Supervisor Janice Hahn called the new numbers disheartening. The count found a 24% increase in homeless youth defined as people under 25 and a 7% jump in people 62 or older. An estimated 29% of people experiencing homelessness are mentally ill or have substance abuse issues, issues officials said. That is, that's pathetic. It's absolutely pathetic and you and this, this rise correlates to the the fall of the Republican Party in California. See, uh, aside from 1964, um, California was reliably a Republican voting state. In 1992, everything changed with Bill Clinton. For some reason, after 1992, they strongly went Democrat. And look where those democratic policies have gotten them. They have fallen from grace, so to say. They used to be one of the most spectacular places everyone in America wanted at some point to visit California. Now you have everyone in America lambasting California and Californians leaving in mass to go and ruin other states like Texas because these people are generally moronic, if you ask me because they're leaving 
California because of its terrible liberal policies that are propagating these problems. And they're, they're going to mainly conservative places because they're nice and well taken care of. And they're still voting Democratic. Why would you do that? You're voting in the problem you just left. Come on, people. Use your damn head. Excuse my language, but this is it's, it's obscene. It's obscene to think about. It really infuriates me. It really infuriates me. The left, these are leftist-caused issues. These are leftist-caused issues. Drug use is running rampant. Of course. Why? Because they build... They build places where people can go and inject their drugs or do their drugs without persecution to, say, to make it more safe for the drug user. Well, how about this? Put them in a program. You have uh, people making like a hundred and something thousand dollars a year because they're on poop patrols going and cleaning up the streets in these in these cities why don't you use some of that money to try to eradicate the actual problem which is the homeless people and not eradicate the people because I know there will be some leftist moron that tries to take my words out of context but no eradicate the problem the problem is, is we need to get these people off the streets we need to get these people the help they deserve as American citizens, they deserve to be helped, you know. Without without solving the mental the mental problems, we won't be able to really address the drug problems. Because a lot of a lot of people with mental illness resort to drugs, and, and damn near vice versa. A lot of people that do drugs, these hard drugs, um, end up becoming a mental case of some sort. The act of addiction is a mental problem. It's insane. It really is insane. I don't know what the federal government could do to help curb these problems. I really don't. I'm sure they'll throw money somewhere, but is it really going to go towards helping the problem? I don't know. But there is a, a drastic, there needs to be a drastic step here. Something big has to happen. And I'm not sure what that solution is yet. I'm not sure what the solution is, and, and it's, it's disheartening. Because I want these people, these are American citizens. These are our people. And I don't like seeing them in those states. Where you're seeing people leaning, barely leaning up against walls, muttering incoherently because they're so dazed and confused. And then they will just drop their pants and use the bathroom right there on the sidewalk. They don't care. That's sad. That is a problem that we have to address. We have to do something. And I, I know liberals, liberal politicians, aren't going to be able to do anything that's going to make a difference because they've had nothing but opportunity to do so and everything they've tried has failed miserably or exacerbated the problem going back to opening up the facilities where drug users can go without fear of prosecution to go do their drugs safely doing injectable drugs is never safe so come on I don't know what the solution is. I've stated that. But something has to be done. Will this will this cause something positive? I don't know. I don't think anybody knows. But at least the Republicans and Trump understand that this is a serious problem to the American way of life and to the American people that are suffering from these problems. Something's got to be done. But as always, like, share, comment, and I will catch you all on the flip side.